All right, guys, so I've opened up a session that I tracked because I wanted to show you guys something that comes in handy when you're switching from tracking into like mixing and comping in particular. All right, so there's a few different ways to comp different takes, right? So I'm just gonna switch into, let's see, I'm gonna find a track here that has different takes. So here's a vocal track. And I'm just gonna switch this vocal track into the playlist view so I can see my different takes. So here are all the different takes we made. Um, and so basically what I think is the more common way that people tend to comp different takes is they will open up this playlist view, they'll look at the different takes. Sometimes they'll go and make a brand new playlist here. So they have a blank playlist here and then they'll just comp a whole new version of this track onto this blank playlist. Um, I want to undo that though, let's see. Okay, so I just switched back to my main playlist because this is a work in progress. I don't wanna mess up my mix, but basically I have this blank one that I just created down there. We can just ignore that for now. I'm not using that. Um, and so the way that a lot of people tend to comp things is they will go through and they'll listen in context to each take. And so, you know, when you solo these subtracks while you're comping, you hear the other tracks in the session, you just hear this version of this uh, track over this playlist here. So you'll listen to the different versions and then if you like, let's say I like this phrase, then you can just hit the up button and it'll move it up to that top playlist there. So that's um, one way you can do things. And I'll actually show you this here. I'll just undo it in a second. So you hit up and it goes up to your main playlist, the one that is on the main timeline that's not indented here, right? So it's not one of the sub playlists. So let me undo that. So that's kind of the way that I've seen that people tend to do comping. But this year I started kind of experimenting with this other way of comping that I um, found out about, I think like, end of the summer sometime and I started experimenting with that. So with that in mind, you know, this only comes around every so often when you're actually tracking and comping something. So I actually keep at my desk this sticky note that has reminders for the different shortcuts and how to handle this. So I'm just gonna follow along with this sticky note and show you guys how I do this when I do it this way. I kind of experimented with it over the winter. I try to use it every so often to see if I'm getting more comfortable with it. But to be honest, I'm still more comfortable with this original way that I just showed you. But um, I wanted to get this out there because I think not as many people know about this method. So I'm just gonna go through these shortcuts to show you the different ways to navigate through different playlists. So um, let me see. First, I'm going to deactivate groups, Command Shift G. And I'm gonna take this track and I'm going to duplicate it. Oops, cancel. Make sure I'm only selecting this track. I'm gonna duplicate it just so I can mess around with it and not have to worry about messing up my uh, mix here. So I'm gonna hit okay. And there it is. So, dupe. There's the main one, vocals U67. Vocals U67, dupe. So this is vocals practice. Just so I don't forget that this is the extra one that I can delete after this. I'm not gonna save when I close anyway, but you know, we have to be careful. We have to be super careful and paranoid when we're working with um, complicated sessions and with other people's music, right? So vocals practice, all right. So basically you'll notice that each of these uh, playlists uh, in here, each of these have this little icon on the left here. And so what these are, are little target icons, right? So you can have a target playlist that you're then comping things to. And there are some shortcuts to make that pretty easy um, and streamlined and all that great stuff. Okay, so this is my main playlist. So if I go to any other playlist, um, usually what would happen, I just duplicated this, so I believe that's why this isn't here. But this target icon would be blue on your main, your target playlist, right? So I'm just gonna click on it. Now it's my target playlist. There's also a shortcut to do that. So I'll put that up on the screen, but to be honest, I forget what the shortcut is. Um, let's see. Yeah. I forget what the shortcut is. I'll put it up on the screen. But basically now that that's my target playlist, what I can do if I want to is I can hold shift and hit the right arrow and that will travel to my main playlist, my target playlist. Cool. So if you notice, if I switch back to the waveform view for this track, this vocals practice track, I'm gonna make this bigger so we just don't miss, uh, lose track of which one we're looking at. And I'll actually change the color too. 
Okay, so this is the one we're looking at. Let's say I switch over to another playlist so we can have a listen to a section here. If I then want to quickly travel back to my main playlist, I can hold shift and then the right arrow and it'll switch back to that main playlist, that target playlist, no matter where I am, no matter which playlist I'm on. So that's the first shortcut that's kind of handy once you have a target playlist selected. So then once you're in this main target playlist, you can kind of exist in this main playlist and you can comp within this main playlist. So instead of having to open up our playlist view and have all that space taken up on our screen and um, I don't know, it just takes more screen real estate. So it's all about whatever you prefer, right? But basically let's say I'm in this and I go, oh, this one phrase sounds a little wonky to me. So let me kind of listen to the different versions that I have out there in my other playlists. So what you do is you just highlight that phrase that you're working on that you wanna hear the different versions of, and then you just hold um, shift and then command, and then either the up or the down arrow will let you navigate between those different takes. So now I can comp those really easily. And you'll notice when I return to that target playlist, that home icon pops up. So that's how I know where I am and that's how I can keep track of what was that original one that I had in my main uh, target playlist versus what are the other ones that I'm currently auditioning. So that's a really great way to comp your different takes. Um, but again, it's all preference, right? And I think that's basically it that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I wish I remembered the shortcut to make that target playlist. I did learn it at first and then I just found it was easy to just click on the icon. So I just kind of did that. Um, but I will put that up on the screen. I will have put that up on the screen for you guys. So I guess I shouldn't be apologizing. But yeah, that's it. So there's the shift command and then up and down arrows option. And there's um, creating target playlist, right? So I can switch to a different playlist and then all I have to do, shift and then the right arrow to return to that main playlist, right? It's a little bigger effect when I'm out here, right? So, and then there's, you know, if you travel to a different playlist to hear that whole playlist or to see it in context, you can always hit shift and right arrow to return to your home, your target playlist. Um, and it's just a little bit, I don't know, it's just a fun way to do things. It's just an, another way to do things. You know, there's a million different ways to do anything in audio engineering, it seems. So a lot of times there is no like right way to do things. It's kind of workflow and preference and stuff like that. So, you know, again, you can either go to your playlists and comp that way, the way that people tend to comp. So highlighting, finding the phrase you like by soloing it and then hitting that up arrow. Or, you know, there's the creating a target playlist. Let me return to my waveform view. And you can do shift right arrow to return to that target playlist. You can highlight sections and then do shift command up and down to audition different um, takes there. So that's about it. I hope you guys found this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, please, if you wanna be notified when I come out with new videos. Um, and share my channel with anyone you think might be interested. And uh, if you do wanna support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. So I think that's about it. But uh, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you for watching. Okay to have a listen to a section. <laughs>